Na huku ulimwengu kisherehekea siku ya wanawake duniani tunaangazia mmoja wa wanawake waliotoa mchango mkubwa katika jamii na sifa zao kutambuliwa duniani. Feelings Omido ambaye ni mwanaharakati wa mazingira hivi majuzi ameshinda tuzo la kimataifa sawia na liloshinda marehemu Wangari Mathai kutokana na juhudi zake za kupigania wakazi wa eneo la mabanda la Owino Uhuru katika kaunti ya Mombasa kutokana na kiwanda cha betri kilichokuwa kikitoa sumu vitisho kutoka kwa wahusika pamoja na serikali havikumvunja moyo hadi mtambo huo ukafungwa kwa sasa pia anapigania haki za wanakijiji wa Uyombo kutambuliwa kutokana na shinikizo la serikali la kuweka mtambo wa nuclear katika kijiji hicho kilichoko kaunti ya Kilifi. Felix Omido aligonga vichwa vya habari mnamo mwaka 2012 baada ya kuongoza maandamano makubwa dhidi ya kiwanda kilichokuwa kikitoa sumu iliyoripotiwa kuwaua na kuwalemaza baadhi ya wakazi alikuwa ameajiriwa kwenye kiwanda hicho kitengo cha kusimamia wafanyikazi serikali hana haja na sisi watu wa Inouru tena tunaona kama sisi tunafikiri tunaishi Tanzania au Uganda many of you have seen have covered this case sometimes at the mortuary when children died or women died you have covered this case through the years Alishtaki serikali pamoja na mashirika mengine ya kibinafsi kwa niaba ya zaidi ya wakazi 1000. Alishinda kesi hiyo na kupata fidia ya shilingi bilioni 1.3 japo serikali ilikata rufaa. It does not make sense. It's corruption in a way. It's corruption that is entrenched in our court in our court systems. They are, they are deliberately doing this to deny these people and to create avenues for government um, state agencies to eat from this case November mwaka 2023 Omido alishinda tuzo la kimataifa sawa na aloshinda wangari madhai na kupigania mazingira Tuzo hii ilitolewa katikati ya jiji la Stockholm nchini Sweden japo ilikuwa sadfa tu ya yeye kujitosa katika uanarakati wengi wanamuona kama kielelezo chema kwa wanawake wanaoibukia Looking at the life of Wangari Maathai and looking at my life is a very lonely life in Kenya. We are criminalized, we are charged in courts, we are harassed by the police for actually demanding that Kenya does what is right by the people and by the environment. We are only holding the environment in custody for future generations. Kwa sasa amejitosa katika safari nyingine katika kijiji cha Uyombo, wadi ya Matsangoni kaunti ya Kilifi, bako serikali inataka kujenga mtambo wa nuclear anasema kuwa tayari vitisho vinamwandama kutokana na yeye pamoja na kijiji kupinga bradi huo Uyombo lies beneath a uh, UNESCO biosphere meaning it's it's a biodiversity hotspot it's an area that if left just as it is brings in a lot of foreign exchange for this country it brings a lot of jobs for our people that area has beautiful marine life it has dolphins it has turtles one of the only places you can find dolphins in Kenya very few places you can find dolphins in Kenya so we are opposed to the location of the nuclear power plant bila shaka Phyllis Omido ni miongoni mwa wanawake ngangari wakati ulimwengu unapoadhimisha siku ya wanawake duniani Tobias Chanji, KTN News.